Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all appropriate ages. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. I'm currently in Captura because it's time to voice some concerns because we are at the end of October and with November just creeping around the corner, we still have no cross-play, no cross-save, no new war. And DE usually around December close up office to go for their holidays, which in retrospect is fair. Everyone deserves a good Christmas holiday. I know I won't be getting one though. The joys of working in retail. But I digress. So no new war yet. Will we get it in November? Or very beginning of December? Will we get cross gen and cross gen? Cross play and cross save sometime next month or at the very beginning of December. My personal opinion, it's starting to look more and more doubtful. I mean they showed Antenocon what was going to be coming out this year in terms of those. Uh, mobile play included, is that coming out this year now? Or is that being delayed? You know, there's not really been that much we've been told since. It's just, mm, I don't know, I don't think, personally, I see it happening in one of two ways. Either they're going to say it's been delayed till early next year and they're going to give a reason as to why. Or we're going to have another Railjack launch type of experience where it all gets dropped in one massive bundle and it is just completely busted. I mean, with the issues on PlayStation anyway, with host migration constantly kicking you in the teeth and network not responding, constantly kicking you in the balls. If they drop it all in one big bundle, then say any issues that occur will address once we come back from the Christmas holidays. It is going to be a shit show, to say the least. But we still got November to go through. But <laughs> bastard, you can't escape network not respond anyway. Even in Captura, it wants to attack you. The fuck? Digital Extremes, fix that shit, please! <laughs> if I were to do a compilation of every time Network Not Responding pops up, in gameplay, in Orbiter, on Relays, and now in Captura, I wouldn't have time to do anything else <laughs> if I was just to play this non-stop. Luckily I do play other games. Oh. Jesus, what? <coughs> but yeah. Given all the issues and bugs that the game can be hit with, if they drop it all in one patch and say, right, we're off for the Christmas holidays, we'll deal with any issues when we get back. I see it being another disastrous launch. I really do. But that's my personal opinion. And I was also going to talk about trophies, because on PS4 we still haven't had the Heart of Deimos trophies and we haven't had the Sister of Parvus trophies. Can I find them on the profile? Yeah. So sort by progress. So Forbidden Fruit. Collect 50 ganglion from haptic frond. And you got all these other ones. K-Driven is the only one I haven't done yet, and I can't be bloody asked to do a million miles on K-Drive. I'm not bored enough to do that yet. But all the Damus trophies, they're here, but they're locked, but they're not synced with the PlayStation Network. And Sisters of Parvos one, it's quite cold. 
Attain command rank 10. Strategic development. Complete all Corpus Proxima Railjack nodes. Juggernaut. Kill five juggernauts with Cambrian Drift. Craft a sister of Parva's tenet weapon. I've got them all. You know, none of them are synced to the PlayStation Network. <coughs> and you may be asking, why is that? Because I was asking that for a while. And Danny did say in a stream that they were a worthy issue and it was going to be a Q1 issue to solve. But I've been looking through the forums since I posted something there the other day. Uh, under my gamer tag Wayne underscore 47. But this is from the 6th of July. And I'm going to read it all out in full and then some of the comments because it is just admitting defeat and being lazy as far as I'm concerned. Hi PlayStation Tenno, today we have two updates regarding future trophies on PlayStation, one relating to PS4 ecosystem while the other relates specifically to the just launched Sisters of Parvos content. For PS4 trophies, we've been made aware of a technical limitation within the trophy system on PS4 that does not allow a game to have more than 32 trophy categories. So with every update they're saying is like, you've got update after the main game launch, you've got update 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we're up to 31 already. Between the 31 trophy updates we've added on top of the base game trophies, Warframe has hit the cap of 32 categories on PS4, which unfortunately means that we are un unable to add any additional trophies to the PS4 version of Warframe. This also means that we will not be able to deliver the Heart of Damus trophies that we previously said would come to PS4. We apologise for what has already been a long way on promised trophies that ultimately will not be coming. Prior to learning about this limitation, the delay on delivering these trophies was a simple matter of time and resources to set up, test and submit that we did not have in between other console happenings. We are however working on putting together something special for PS4 Tenno to salute our trophy collectors. Still not seeing anything for it. <coughs> not seeing anything for that. And I've only got one more trophy to go. Though with TennoCon ahead of us, the various teams are all occupied, meaning this special something will be arriving sometime in the unforeseeable future. It will be forgotten about. Rest assured that even though future trophies will be indefinitely coming to an end on PS4, in-game challenges will continue to arrive on PS4 for those craving the completionism playstyle. Other than getting every Kubelich weapon and doing that K-Drive trophy and steel path, I'll be done with the game. So, other than cosmetic farming, which, no, I don't count that as content. So you better bring out something after the new war, otherwise I'm going to be bored out my fucking skull. I probably won't come back in between updates. As for PS5 trophies, we are able to continue to bring future trophies to Warframe on PS5 with the systems available there. But back then they had an unrelated technical issue that Sony is currently experiencing with the trophy validation tool, and they weren't able to ship the three new Sister of Parvis trophies alongside the update. <coughs> we hope these trophies get into Warframe on PS5 as soon as we're able for those Tenno who pride themselves on trophy hunting. Thank you for your understanding and ongoing support. We will share updates once we have them to share. Now, the first uh, response came from Sabretooth1971. And I'm glad this man brought this up. Or this one, I don't know. Uh, the response was, good to know, Killing Floor 2 goes a different route to you in that it just has new trophies to a never expanded list rather than an individual list that you provide each update. Maybe their way could mitigate the problem you are having. Can be easily done. Can be easily done with. Because Killing Floor 2, when it launched, it had its base trophy list. And then it had another list called post-launch DLC. And with every DLC that comes out and the new trophy category gets added into that, making it just two lists. Warframe, Digital Extremes could have easily done that. They could still easily do that. Uh, but they'd rather just admit defeat. 
Trophies like Tomb Looter and Palace Spelunker are still not working on PS4. If you have done them first on PS5, exactly in that order, I've created a post on a PlayStation bug meta thread from Patrick Osan. Oh, so he did them first on PS5 and now they won't unlock on PS4. Oh. This is a trophy related bug which makes them unobtainable on PS4 when you have done them first on PS5. That is a fucked bug. That is unfortunate. Uh, Chabala said, see what Elder Scrolls Online has done with their trophy system. They added a second game listing when they, and then they started adding new DLC to that. Completely works around the cap. See, everyone's been giving them ideas about what other games are doing in order to work around it, but they just admitted defeat. Or you could ask Sony to merge the list into one or add, an ex to an, add to an existing list. There are definitely ways around this, just admitting defeat is rather sad. I believe you can all find a way from Rainbow Neos 1. Also, how are you all finding out about this limitation now of all times? These trophies were supposed to drop late last year. We're halfway through the next year, and now we are told you found this limitation out. Did you only start actually working on the PS4 trophies recently? Back in the day, you all did them flawlessly. Yeah, how the fuck did you not figure this out from day one when you launched it on PlayStation? Was there no discussion? I mean, everyone's talking, giving them great ideas about what other games are doing to work around the system and you guys are just admitting defeat. And that just, you know, if you're going to admit defeat on something like that and with how everything else is just taking so much time to fix or what is bugged is still needing to be fixed. I mean... I just don't know. I do have my concerns. But we've still got all of November to see what happens. Let me know what your opinion is on what the new war and the cross save and cross play is going to be like if we actually get it this year. And I shall see.